everyone, what's up? My name is Jessica Whitaker and today I'm on location with my beautiful model and friend Valerie. Today I'm shooting just with my Mark II and then my 50mm 1.4 lens. So basically when I first get on the location, here I am. I've oriented myself with my surroundings, no bears in the distance. The first thing that I'll do is adjust the hair for the model. So I'm going to bring her hair to the front. Obviously this is something that I'm sure a lot of you guys already do. But one thing to be aware of is, especially since she has dark hair and is wearing a light t-shirt, um, I don't want to have any hair like going across her neck. So I see a ton of pictures where the model's hair is across the neck. She doesn't have a hairy chest, remove that hair. So just make sure that this is nice and clean. So the hair's gone from her neck. I'm gonna make sure that it's also gone over here. And then that there's no flyaways on the top. Obviously all of this can be adjusted later in Photoshop, but I'm trying to keep my post-processing to a minimum. So my second tip, and Valerie's already a top model, she's a pro, so she's not gonna be doing this per se. This is something I see in a lot of pictures is when the hand is just awkwardly kind of sitting here, and especially if you have lighter skin, it's just this really white, overexposed kind of blob, and it distracts from the face. So I'm gonna ask Valerie to turn her wrist like this and then just bring it up a little close to her face and then that just solves that problem. So flick of the wrist, flick the brow. Okay, so her hand is no longer just by her face awkwardly hanging out, it's turned and it's kind of tucked under her job. Perfect, okay, let's start shooting. So one of my tips is God made us all with different faces. So we all have different angles and God gave the responsibility to Drake to tell everyone, know your angles, know yourself. So whenever I'm shooting somebody, um, I have this little trick that I use, whether I'm shooting horizontally or vertically, I always do this. No matter how tall they are, I never shoot it just straight on at my eye level. I'm never gonna just go like this. So what I do to just make it uh, more flattering is I usually get on my tiptoes and then it's still raised at my eye level, but then I tilt the body of the camera down just a hair. Never take it like that, you ain't an amateur. Stand on your tiptoes so you're at higher level. What you're gonna do is you're gonna tilt the body of the camera down slightly. So instead of shooting like this, it's like this. Um, vertically, same thing. Instead of shooting like this, especially vertically, honestly. This is a no. This is gonna be more flattering. This is something very universal, no matter what your face shape is or your bone structure or anything like that. This is just like a really universal tip that you should apply to your portrait photography. And then obviously depending on different people's makeup of their face, you're gonna do different things, but that's my most basic tip. Awesome, oh you're so pretty. It's like, it's gonna be a wide shot and then horizontally, so there's gonna be a lot of space above you, so you can like kind of move your hands uh -huh. even. Um, and then I'm gonna get basically the very top of your waistband. So we see the Calvins, we see the jeans, but then there's still yeah. a lot of space. Awesome, and then when you lift your chin up just a tiny bit towards the light, perfect. Stay just like that, that was perfect. Let's see, I'm gonna have you lift your head just slightly. Awesome, and stay just like that. Beautiful, awesome. Look at this cool little window we found. So vintage. Have a seat. Okay, so here's our second location. Um, one tip is that you don't need, even with Instagrams, you don't need like everything to be pretty. You just need enough to be pretty to fill the frame. So like, even though this is not appealing, this is not appealing, but this is. So I'm just not gonna have that in the photo. Pretty basic. So since we're kind of in the shot, I mean, we're in kind of a weird spot for the shadows. I want to keep your face as close to the light as you can. So kind of just like, I'm gonna have you lift your face even more. Yeah, perfect. Something to the side, especially, it's really gonna highlight your cheekbones really nicely. Oh, you know what I can get? It's my prism here. This, I don't really know how to use it. I just got it off of Amazon a couple weeks ago. That's pretty dope though. But I think that, I'm gonna have you almost bring your shoulders to like. I'm gonna have you bring that shoulder down again. Yeah. Let's see. Um, let me see if I can shoot from here. So since the sun is coming from that angle, I'm gonna shoot her from here. So then there's not as many shadows. Again, as you can see, I'm lifting the camera, tilting it down. For a 
closer up shot. This is what I do. Um, I put my camera into live mode and then shoot on manual focus. But since I'm going to be around, it's mostly her face. I also want to be really careful of the straight hairs that go onto her face. If it's something further away, I honestly just don't really regard, like pay much attention because you're not going to see it. But when it's something so close, you want to make sure that everything is good. Okay, perfect. Look up again. That's so pretty. Sorry, like, can I have your genetics? These are so beautiful. Okay, one second, let me. And sometimes when something's so close, especially with the um, 50 millimeter, it's harder to get a focus point when you're so close to somebody. So that's when the um, manual focus comes into place. So right now, my settings, oh, that's really, really pretty. So as you can see, especially with this, how my camera is tilted, it's still tilted down. I'm not shooting like this, I'm tilting it down. Um, my settings right now are, uh, I'm in manual, obviously. I'm at f2.8, my ISO is at 400, and then my shutter speed is 640. So I'm gonna try using the prism real quick. So I'm gonna have you just look at me, yeah. Yeah, perfect, perfect. And stay just like that, so then I can do something really dope. I'm still trying to figure out the prism, honestly, so if you'd like to see a video on that, maybe later in a couple months once I have it kind of figured out. If anyone has any good tips for using a prism, let me know because SOS. That's so pretty. I'm going to have you tilt your head back like that again, and then bring your face forward a little bit. Yes, perfect, perfect. And just stay like that. That's so beautiful. Stay just like that. Perfect. I'm going to have you tilt your head down a little bit more. Awesome. our third location we're going against this very trendy um in post it's gonna look more baby pink right now it's kind of like a pale pink every city has or every town has some kind of like building that's older that can look cute um like i said before you don't need the whole space to look pretty you just need a little chunk for instagram you know it's like an illusion almost magic trick tricked you i'm gonna have you head tilt your head down a little bit just because there's a little i want there to be space between the top mm -hmm. of that and then so whenever i'm taking a picture of somebody you always want to make sure that their jawline this is a know your angles know yourself thing so um i'm gonna have her tilt her jaw point it towards me so it's gonna her head's gonna tilt back a little bit it's just gonna add oh, so yeah, so instead of like having this, see how this is not very, her neck's not extended. And a neck is a really pretty feature on a, um, on a female. So I'm going to have you extend your neck. Perfect. So can you just show them again? So she's just going to tilt her jaw towards me. And then that's just really pretty, extends the neck. That's also just a tip, honestly, in general, if you're taking a group photo with people, just extend your neck. Even if you don't have the best jawline, this is a good trick to kind of create that illusion. And then when you pair it with my angle tip, it just creates a really pretty photograph. Um, something too about my angle tip, it's just like taking a selfie. You wouldn't take a selfie with it in like full frontal in your face, you lift it up. So that's kind of the same philosophy when it comes to the angle. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Maybe bring your um, hand back up a tiny bit. Yeah, that's so pretty. My shutter speed's at 1600, my aperture's at 2.5, and my ISO is at 640. Um, also, my white balance for this whole thing has just been in daylight. White balance doesn't really matter per se because you can just fix that later in post. I'm never going to place Valerie where she, her body's right here. Then it's not splitting it down the middle of her or anything. I want her to be kind of pushed away from it and it just creates kind of a nice like symmetry in her picture. It adds interest. It makes everything... I don't know if I'm like speaking English or Swahili, but I'll show you. So I'm going to have you step back just real quick. Okay, so how Valerie is right now, she's kind of up against the line of that window. And then Valerie, so see how nice that looks? It's very pretty. I'm gonna have you step back like two feet. And this, she just kind of gets lost within the window. Um, there's also a pane that's going down the middle of her head. You just, you wanna frame her nicely, is basically what I'm trying to say. Framing your subjects well. So I'm gonna have you step back over here. Because when we just have this clean background against her, there's nothing um, in the way of her body or anything like that. So I'm going to have you arch your back 
So this is a tip that I also do is arching them back. While it might feel awkward, it just creates a really pretty almost line. And in the picture, you can't tell that she's arching her back per se. It just is very flattering. I don't know why, it just is. Okay, so I'm actually gonna have you turn full profile. Bring your shoulders back. Yeah, and just kind of like arch your whole back. Yes, perfect. And just stay like that real quick. I'm gonna have you turn your face a little bit more towards me. Yeah. Awesome. And with your back hand, you can actually kind of touch the collar in your, or the lapel. Yeah. Beautiful. So as you can see, both pictures side by side, there's one where she's not arching her back and then the one where she is. There's a big difference. It just creates a little bit more of a better line. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not a scientist. I don't know the human anatomy. But I do know that that looks really good. So this is our, uh, I don't remember what our location, but basically, like I said before, you don't need the entire space to look very good. You just need a chunk. So this is going to be the chunk that we're using today. Yeah, and just stay like that for a second. Um, actually, just tilt your head up a little bit. Awesome. Another tip is that you always want her shoulder to be extended as well. So kind of hunch back, be like Notre Dame, ding, ding, ding on the Notre Dame, hunch back. Anyways, okay, so you always want this to kind of be pushed down a little bit, kind of like with the jaw. So then can you also tilt your jaw back? This is just really pretty. It creates like a nice line. It's very flattering. Okay, so this is my last tip of the day, and it comes, it's about horizon line. So basically horizon line is the horizon, the line with it. With a horizon line, kind of similar to any objects, you don't want to have it split in the middle of her head. You want to have the horizon line above her head so that she's like contained within the earth, basically. It's very simple. All you have to do to get the horizon line underneath her head is just lift your camera body. So in this, you can see it's going through her head. Here, she's underneath. Plus, this is just a more flattering angle too, but that just varies on what terrain you're on. So that's it. We're gonna keep shooting, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Pinterest. My website is gonna be in the description box below. You can follow Valerie on Instagram and Peter on Instagram who has been filming this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. So, hope this video is helpful. Yes. Bye.